Hello, this is Dan Alford with Arc Specialties. We are known for our hot wire TIG systems we have running all over the world for corrosion resistant overlay. But today I'm going to be talking about pulsed gas metal arc welding. There's a lot of resistance in the industry against pulsed metal arc welding, so much that uh, one young engineer I know was applying for a job. Uh, when he was presented a MIG weld, they asked him, what's wrong with this weld? He said, I don't know, it appears to be a sound weld. And they said, it's MIG. Most of these reservations are in regards to lack of fusion defects, and admittedly, gas metal arc welding is more prone to that. But one of the biggest problems that creates these lack of fusion defects is the lack of automatic torch height control. So what you're seeing on the screen now is we've intentionally misaligned this part so there's got a lot of run out. Now when you're TIG welding with hot wire, you can automatically track this torch height and compensate for this variation. MIG, it's always been a problem. But what we've done is we've added this automatic torch height control to our systems so we can continuously maintain exactly the same electrical stick out and this reduces the incidence of defects. Once we light the arc, you'll see this automatic torch height control in action. We'll raise the torch, which increases the electrical stick out and drops the current. The torch will automatically move back down to maintain that constant current. We'll drive the torch too low, which increases current. The torch will move away. And what this does is maintain the optimum electrical stick out, which helps to minimize any weld defects in our final deposit. The good thing about gas metal arc welding is we can achieve less than 5% dilution in a single layer, something that's really not practical with gas tungsten arc welding. And yet we still have good wells. You see here on the guided bend test, we're doing a side bend of a 625 overlay. And as we move around, this is actually a two layer well, but we're moving around the bend specimen and you'll see that it passed without any problems at all. And yet in a single layer, we can achieve the chemistries that normally require two layers. So in our lab, we're developing gas metal arc pulsed welding procedures to try to increase deposition rates and decrease dilution. We're hitting over six pounds an hour with almost any material, including 625, but we can do this with stainlesses and steel alloys also. So if you'd like to increase your productivity and decrease your dilution, give us a call. Our specialties, we thrive on problems. Send us yours.